Hello everyone, welcome to another Go High Level video tutorial. Now in this video tutorial, I will show you how to add custom animations on Go High Level page elements in a really easy way. You don't have to be tech savvy. You don't have to know how to actually code. Uh, you can do this with ChatGPT actually. So before we get started, you can get a 30 day free trial on Go High Level. Uh, if you don't have an account on Go High Level, your, our 30 day free trial link will be in the description. So just check it out now before we get started. Okay, let's say we want to go and we want to animate this section right here. This is actually already animated or pre-animated. So let's say we want to animate this section right here. Let's click on this section and let's go to advanced. Now, as you can see here, it is a CSS selector. This is what we need to know. So we need to just copy this. And uh, let's say we want a fading uh, effect for this particular element. What we can do is we can go to ChatGPT. As you can see, I already created here something, but what we can do is we can say, uh, can you create a fade in, fade in animation for this, uh, for this CSS element? And then we can paste a CSS element. Now, obviously you can go more into, uh, you know, more in depth with this. Uh, however, I just want a fade in animation for this CSS element, so I just hit enter. Now, once I hit enter, I'll get a um, HTML code uh, along with the CSS code as well, uh, which is great. As you can see in this example, uh, we have what everything was defined, so you don't have to know a lot about this. You just copy the code, you just go here. And uh, right now, what you want to do is you want to add a element which is going to be a code element. So we actually need to connect the code with this CSS selector. So we go and we can obviously do this under, for example, an image. It can be up, it can be here, it doesn't matter. Uh, it just matters that we need, we need to click on it. We need to open the code editor. We need to paste the code right here and we need to hit save. Now, once we hit save here, we can go hit save here as well. Don't hit publish just uh, yet. And what we can do is we can preview this. So if we go to preview here, if we scroll down, as you can see right here, we can see that this uh, image actually made a fade in. I don't know if you see, saw it, but it may actually made a fade in. Now, if you want to change the code, we can change the code by just going to ChatGPT and telling ChatGPT to give us another different code. Now, if we scroll this again here, you will see how this fade in looks like right here, right? So that's basically what I'm talking about right here. If you again scroll, you can see the fade in. So that's basically what it is here. Uh, your image description, you can remove this. Um, I'm, I'm sure you can remove this by just going to a custom code and or ChatGPT and just tell ChatGPT to remove this. However, this is basically, um, you know, how it is. You can also go to advanced, enter a class name and then uh, connect that with a class. But that's pretty much how you will able to add custom animation on low high level page elements in a really easy way. Now, if you want to get a 30 day free trial on go high level, uh, we have a link down below in our description. So definitely check that out and we'll see you in the next video.